is Kanessa Carey. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. On the channel, we talk about all things mental health, life. In the past, I've struggled with my mental health a lot, anywhere from anxiety to OCD to depression to an eating disorder. And now those things are not really a part of my life. Every once in a while, something will kind of like knock at the door, but we don't open it, okay? We don't open it. But that being said, I like to make content surrounding those types of things because I wish that I had information and people to kind of steer me in the right direction during that time. So I kind of just focus on the recovery of all of those things. A lot of the times my main focus has been on eating disorder recovery, just because that is something that I dealt with for a very, very long time and I felt very alone and very misunderstood. Recovery is a tough, tough thing. So I kind of like to focus on that just because I feel like I have a lot to say and I feel like I have a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience experience on what to do and what not to do. I'm so happy that you're here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to start a little series that I hope will be encouraging for those who maybe you're not in recovery yet or maybe you are in recovery, finding things difficult or you're having a hard time. This is for you. I'm going to be starting a series where we enjoy a meal together or a snack together or whatever it may be. This also just gives me a moment in my day and in my week to just like slow down and just connect with you guys, which I'm very very, very excited for. This is as much for me as it is for you. Basically, the premise of this is I'm going to make myself a meal or make myself a snack. You're going to do the same and we're going to sit down. We're just going to chat, but I hope that I can just be there with you, be there for you, and we can enjoy a meal together. This will be really helpful if you are in recovery because you can challenge yourself along the way. So I'm hoping that this is like a helpful series, something that is encouraging, brings you hope. It's just something to help you overcome certain aspects of that are challenging in your eating disorder. So with that being said, let's get right into it. brand and it's like the perfect amount of saltiness i don't know what it is but it's just like superior to all of the peanut butters that i can find so if you have a whole foods you need to get this and yes you always go to look at the knife i don't make the rules also i'm pretty sure everyone knows about the seasoning already but this is like the target brand of everything but the bagel seasoning chef's kiss this is the only seasoning I use whenever I make scrambled eggs, so I also put it on my hard boiled eggs too. spiel that I gave in the beginning. That was actually yesterday after I finished recording that. My daughter woke up. So that being said, today, so I coach soccer and I have soccer practice at like a very odd time of the day today. Usually it's a little bit earlier, but our practice got moved today because we have a scrimmage, it's a whole thing. So that being said, I'm not super hungry right now because it's kind of like in between lunch and dinner. So normally I would just have like a smaller snack, but I know that I'm going to be hungry during the time that we now have the soccer practice. So I'm going for a little bit of a larger snack, but I I am sticking with the theme of breakfast because breakfast just sounded good. So we have a hard boiled egg with some of that seasoning, everything but the bagel. We have a gluten free waffle with peanut butter and banana and hemp seed sprinkled on top. These are two pieces of turkey bacon that I burnt a tad. Like I said, this series is going to be a eat with me series. So if you're watching this video, this is all about recovery and challenging ourselves and doing hard things. So go get a fear food, go get your lunch or your dinner or your breakfast or your snack, whatever time of day it is for you and eat with me. And we're just going to hang out. So I've got my meal. I hope that you've got your meal and you can just like pause this and then come back once you're ready. So let's go. One of the things I really appreciate about recovery too is that I can eat the egg yolks. The yolks are nothing to be afraid of. So since this is something that I'm dealing with today and at a time in my life when I was recovering from my eating disorder, this would have been something that like really, really, really stressed me out. But it's something that I'm dealing with today. It's not stressing me out. So I'm gonna talk about that because I feel like it's kind of on brand, on topic. Having to eat, knowing that you're not gonna be able to eat at a certain time or you're not gonna be able to eat when you're normally hungry and eating a little bit more to keep yourself full and satiated until you can have access to food again. So that's kind of like the scenario I'm in, like I said before. I don't really have a lot of hunger cues today. I don't know why my body is just like, doesn't 
feel super hungry, but that doesn't mean that my body doesn't need food. I'm in a point in my recovery where I can approach things a little bit differently. I can find a lot of balance. So for me, there's a lot of good fats in this meal. There's a lot of good protein in this meal. There's good carbs. And I know that each of those things are going to work to keep me full as I go on to my next activity. For example, I've been running around with my nine month old all day. I don't know if anyone on here is a mom that is watching me, but I also produce milk for her. So that is also like very taxing on my body. So I need to make sure that I'm feeling myself properly in order to fuel her properly. So I'm not just feeling myself, I'm also feeling her. So that's also a good reminder for me on days that I don't feel super hungry. Back in the day, like on days that I didn't feel a lot of hunger or I didn't have any hunger cues, I would just basically use that as an excuse to not eat that's just not healthy it's just your eating disorders way of gaining control and having control over whatever it is in your life that you need control over in recovery you taking back that control is choosing to eat even if you don't feel hungry and there are a lot of different ways that our bodies can tell us that it's hungry Sometimes if your body is not giving you normal hunger cues, and by normal hunger cues, I mean your stomach is growling, you feel hungry, you know that you're hungry. Sometimes your body will give you cues in different ways. And a lot of times this can happen in recovery, especially if you're coming from a restrictive eating disorder background, your body has stopped giving you cues because it's prioritizing your health in other ways. So sometimes your body might give you different cues instead of hunger cues, like your typical hunger cues. You could be thinking about food a lot. You're probably hungry. If you are craving something, you're probably hungry. Maybe your body's getting a little shaky. Maybe your hands are kind of shaky. You're probably hungry. Maybe you feel like your blood pressure is low. You know, you just feel drained. You feel tired, lightheaded, maybe foggy. You're probably hungry. There's just sometimes, even if you're not in recovery or you know, you've been in recovery for many years, there's sometimes just days it's normal that you don't feel super hungry, but that doesn't mean that your body is not hungry. Maybe you're busy and you're not super in tune with your body that day, or maybe you're stressed and your stress is kind of masking your hunger. Today, I'm not super stressed, so I don't really know why I'm not feeling super hungry, but it doesn't mean I don't need to fuel my body, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm gonna enjoy editing this, like going back and watching myself eat, kind of embarrassing. Oh well. talk about is serving sizes. One of the best things I ever did was to stop looking at serving sizes and just eating what my body wants. And that's hard. It takes a lot to learn how to listen to your body and know what your body needs and know what your body wants. Serving sizes are not a one size fits all. I don't know what the serving size is for this. Maybe it's one, maybe it's two, maybe it's three. I don't know, but my body just wanted two. So I'm going to eat two. But yeah, stop looking at serving sizes. Stop looking at calories. And sometimes you might look at something and you give yourself a certain amount, a certain portion. If that changes and you want more, cool. If it changes and you want less, cool. It's all about learning, listen to your body and listen to your body's cues. But I will say that sometimes when you are in a certain stage of your recovery, you have to push back past those hunger and fullness cues. When I was in recovery, I was having to eat more in order to heal my body and restore the weight that I had lost and repair the damage that my eating disorder had done to my body. So that meant I had to eat more than I was comfortable with eating, but it's temporary. It's not forever. And sometimes you eat a little bit more and you feel too full. You know, that's just a normal part of life. Maybe you had dinner and you were out at a restaurant and you were celebrating something or maybe you weren't celebrating something that's cool too and you get dessert and after you're uncomfortably full you know what that is normal comment below your favorite poppings for like waffles or whatnot or like toast or whatever mine is definitely peanut butter i like peanut butter and jelly too butter butter and jelly is really good peanut butter and banana is like a staple for me i'm not even lying when i say that i eat peanut butter multiple times a day it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different, but I think it'll be fun to kind of do like these sit with me, hang out with me, eat with me type of videos. I hope that they're encouraging. Please do not compare the amount that I'm eating to the amount that you're eating. We all have different needs. We're all eating probably at different times a day and you don't know what I've eaten earlier today or what I'm gonna eat later today. So this is what my body needed right now and I am full, I am satiated. I know that it's gonna sustain me for the activity that I'm about to do next. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. I think this will be fun. So go ahead and comment below any types of food that you want me to eat with you, whether that's a fear food or a meal that you have certain beliefs about or you're afraid of eating. We can challenge those together. I think this would be a cool way to just support one another. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you being here. I am so proud of you. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time. Bye.